yeah, I parked super close to this guy just because Honda looks real pretty next to that thing. People have been shooting at this sign here and there's like little bullet holes, be it BBs, be it an actual gun. Just reference, we are near Michigan City, Gary, Indiana, Chicago. National Park turned from National Lakeshore, also state park within. Day 365, Park 52, Indiana Dunes National Park. This will cap off this year-long journey I had to see how many national parks I could get in 365 days. This morning I stopped at a Walmart. I wanted to buy a sled, hopefully to sled slash snowboard the sand dunes. Prohibited in the state park. They don't want the erosion of the dunes to go away, so sledding's prohibited. I thought about going in the lake. Swimming is prohibited. They said it's too dangerous. There's an ice shelf right on the lake. We'll take a look at that in the area where it's called trails eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna go for trail nine. We're gonna hike the high spot, some of the sand dunes. We'll try to take in the, the beauty that this park has to offer. This is the anticipation climb to the top of my first sand dune. Okay. All right. There you have it. Lake Michigan, which we're not allowed to go in. I'm sure anywhere else, we could probably go into it. Looks like there is snow piled up on it. We'll take a peek at that later. The highest sand dune itself, we'll get to. It's back that way, and it's not even like 200 feet. So they're not the biggest sand dunes in the world, but this place was turned from National Lakeshore to National Park because of the biodiversity of the species living here is what I was told. This is a unique, perspective on any national park that is sand based so now indiana dunes also the great dunes and white sands now that i'm deeper on trail nine plenty of points to just get out straight out to the lake plenty of people here as well a little uh Surprised, maybe? It's near a major populated area in Chicago. Trying to lose weight, yep. you know. Yeah. And thinking about definitely offering some nice diversity here. When you think Indiana Dunes, you think, yeah, a beach on a lake. The trail's just inland enough, raised up into the dunes a little bit. It's right on the edge of the, the woods. Because this is my 52nd last park in this journey of 365 days, all the national parks in the continental 48 done in a year, I do want to give a shout out to any individual who ever clicked on one video to watch. If it was for one second, two seconds, three seconds, hopefully I at least got you for four or five. And then on top of that, every single individual who hit the subscribe button for whatever reason that may be, on this weird adventure journey that I decided to record. Beyond this point stretches 1,530 acres of legally protected plant, animal, and natural wonders. Please leave this area as you found it. So way off that way, Steel Mill, Gary, beyond Gary, Chicago, way off in the distance. You got this ice shelf that they were talking about. And they said this ice shelf is dangerous reason I can't go swimming. Only not to go on it too, but to what extent do people actually listen? That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Yeah, trying to get over this I could see being an issue. All I'm really looking for is some footprints where somebody else decided to climb up and take a peek. 
just right there. I don't want to put myself in any danger concerns that these people have of no swimming, falling into the lake, and that could possibly be it for me. So I think we're going to find our way to the high sand dunes now. Furnaceville blowout. We're going to go back in, connect trail nine loop to 10. It's supposed to be a wetland, a boardwalk back on this side. You can tell people have climbed up that way. Let's go that way. So that's clearly a trail up into the woods. Can I meet it? This is probably the highest point, best view I'm getting back here. So I wanted to soak this in before I carry on. This really is just a glorified little sandy, lakey, wooded nature walk here. That's just uh, padded with appreciation for anybody who found interest in absolutely anything I have been doing that has inspired you to be more adventurous, get more daily activity into your lives, get your body moving, go out, explore, get some neurons fire and get the heart pumping. It's only gonna help you in the long run. Little bay in there, flowing in pretty good. Looks like it's up like a good few inches from what this lower one is. Any wild boy? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, nice. All right, you guys enjoy your day. Yeah, it's still dammed up. It dammed that up pretty good. It really gets me with, like, the entire length of the boardwalk here. Dammed up just a few inches. When you think of a dam, you think of your smallest point that you need to close off. This thing stretches for like a football field. So they really had to work to make this happen. Very intriguing nature activity to me. You can see a little bit of a flow right there and right there. Stretches from that all the way clear down that way. Just a few inches of dam from one wetland into the next section. This is where the dam comes down. Still right here, higher section. Just ever so slowly leaking down this way. Just gently iced over back here. Has a cool look to it. This little boardwalk over this wetland. This is the most diversity that I think you're gonna get here in this area from the sand dunes to the beach. The boardwalk is a very nice touch. I don't think I've been on a nice boardwalk like this since Congaree National Park, which very well may have still been in February as of a year ago. Beautiful touch, love the wetlands. And now we will cap it off with visiting the highest sand dunes in this sand dune state park, national park, national lakeshore area. To keep the sand dunes intact, we have a nice set of stairs. I am making my way to the tallest dune, Mount Tom, at a whopping 192 feet. Um, 192 feet, Holden at 184, Jackson at 176. Named after Lieutenant Tom Brady, 192 feet above Lake Michigan. 43 degree maximum slope angle, 56 million cubic feet of sand, 10,700 railroad boxcars. 
Chicago, follow the uh, shoreline way out over there. And this is gonna do it. This is the official last login for an adventure within the parameters I set, 365 days. I visited 52 national parks. For those of you that stuck around, if you're as interested in whatever I did as I am, next up, I'm gonna go into the statistics, the logistics behind the entire trip. I wanna break it down and see what I learned, what I did. You can learn every single place I slept. We're gonna take a look at the gas cost I spent on driving over 40, 42, 43,000 miles on this car since I bought it. And then everything else that was involved in this year that uh, just made it such a wild experience. That all started with a thought in my head and very small aspirations thinking this was possible. The grand scheme being 63 US national parks, every single one of them within this time frame, failed to meet that. Knew I was gonna fail in June, decided to continue anyway and see where I got. I missed Alaska, I missed Hawaii, I missed American Samoa. We're gonna have to plan on those ones later. And this is a loving, heartfelt, Thank you and goodbye for now. Coming up next, we're gonna pile into the data. I'm gonna tear apart this journey and we're gonna see what remains. I wish I had my sunglasses. I'm just totally unprepared for this. But you know, fuck it. Sometimes you just gotta say fuck it.